I'm not going to make a big deal about this. I'm not going to sit here and yell and scream and get everybody all hot and bothered and get 42 phone calls today from the Mets. But let me just say this. The Mets should just, whether it's Jeff, whether it's Fred at a dinner, whether it's Jeff doing an interview, whatever own is out there and he gets caught to chat. I saw Fred last night chat for a minute. He was at the Bob Tisch dinner. I saw that Jeff had given interviews, according to the media, with Bloomberg Radio. Just come out and say this. We have a plan. Manny's not in our plan. Case closed. Don't do this. What they're doing, Omar, is not fair. It's just not fair because they are making it seem like Omar doesn't have the brains or doesn't have the capacity or doesn't have the baseball acumen to want to go upstairs and ask for Manny Ramirez when everybody in the world knows that Omar has always been like, you know, Manny fan number one. This is a guy he's, you know, tried to trade for before. So the idea that, you know, well, hey, Omar hasn't asked. Oh, Manny. What would make you think Manny? I've never thought about Manny because they uh, they never asked. That's not fair. Everyone knows that the Manny debate has been raging in the town. You can't tell me there's never been a discussion about Manny Ramirez. It's comical to think that it's possible that there has not been a discussion about Manny Ramirez at some point. How could there not be? I mean, here's a team that needs, absolutely doesn't realize what it needs. And that's one of the things that drives you crazy. You got to give the Wilpons credit. The Wilpons are good owners. They are. They are they are good owners. They're not bad owners. All right, they have to live in the shadows of the Yankee dynasty and live in the shadows of the Yankee dynasty in terms of money. I'm talking about Yankee dynasty on the field. Because sometimes it isn't as successful as everyone would want it to be. And that has obviously been the case in recent years. So we know that. Money doesn't buy everything. We've learned that. But it's a dynasty in terms of the revenue generated on a year-to-year basis. That there is no disputing. And it is very difficult to be in that same city, just as Woody Johnson sat here yesterday and was honest enough enough to admit that they have been second-class citizens and little brothers to the Giants. It's clear to anybody who's, you know, paid any attention to the Yankees have overshadowed the Mets the same way the football giants have overshadowed the Jets. But that does not mean you're trying to compare. What the Wilpons are is frustrating because they will go to great lengths, but they never go the extra mile. Now, they've brought in some wonderful players. I mean, they went out and gave you a Beltron at a big price. They went out and got Manny Ramirez. They went out and got Santana at a big price. All right, it's a trade, but it cost a lot of money. So they're out there spending. It's not like they're sticking their hands in their pockets. That wouldn't be a fair depiction. But what frustrates you is when you see them stand there and say, you know, we're complete. We answered our problems. We No, they haven't. Yes, you answered some of your bullpen problems. And I think answered the bullpen problems rather well. We can debate starting pitching, but I think most times, no matter what team we're talking about, we can all debate starting pitching. The Mets may or may not, when they finish signing a Perez or whatever their la- a Sheets or whatever the last guy they sign is, we can debate who has enough starting pitching. Nobody does. We all know that. Eventually, nobody has enough starting pitching. You can never have too much. And if Maine flourishes and Pelfrey becomes what they hope he becomes and they get a bounce back here and a this, there, hey, that all works out. We understand that. But they're fooling themselves if they believe they can put that eight-man team as is on the field, and that's enough. It's not enough. It wasn't enough, and it's not enough. And that's with Delgado having played way, way past anybody's expectations, past what anybody could have ever fathomed last year. 
I mean, the duplication of that production will almost be impossible. I mean, he was one of the best players in the league the last 90 games of the season. Not one of the best players on the team, one of the best players in the league. And that's why it's so frustrating because this is a unique player. And I understand there is a fair debate here. No one's saying it's an automatic that you have to get him, and not everybody wants him. But the idea that it's never been broached is an insult. The idea that, hey, you know, it's funny, you bring up money. We've never even considered money. And Omar hasn't even asked us about money. Come on now. I mean, come on, please. You've never thought about money. No one in the organization has ever had a thought about Manny Ramirez? 